Before we get into what's in this box, I thought it might be interesting to do a little perspective. Over 30 years ago, I worked on a prototype helicopter aircraft that does a lot of the same things that this thing in the box does. It weighed 1,400 pounds. It took off like a helicopter and then transitioned into an aircraft and flew like this. The fuselage was 16 feet long. Tip to tip, 19 feet. When it was on the ground, five feet. The version we had, a prototype, cost millions of dollars. We actually had two. The first one crashed. You can see what looks like a camera pod here, but it was actually, in the prototype, just a fixed forward camera. To give you some perspective, here's a picture of me standing next to this aircraft. The full scale, not the model. It had a helicopter jet engine inside, massive amounts of flight controls, and was very complicated. And the irony is, 30 years later, everything that we almost did in this aircraft can be accomplished by the aircraft that's in this box. For this aircraft, we actually used a remote control similar to what's in here for takeoff and landing and then transition and then we could fly it from a ground control station. Now we'll open this box, see what's inside and compare it to this 30 year old prototype. Not only did I buy the fly more kit, but I've got a strap here, a helipad, an extra card, glass screen protector. Based on my, how I abuse technology, I think it's a good investment. I'll post these all down below if you're interested. This thing costs, with all this here, right around $1,100, maybe $1,200. That's more than my first car cost. People don't really talk about the price. That's a pretty big investment. If you can do everything that a plane can, then it's probably worth it. But we're going to have to see about that. This is an unsponsored video. DJI or anybody else did not pay me for any of these things. I used my own money. So you're just going to get an honest review here. Like you always do on my channel. Scan me. I'll have to do that here in a second. But let's just get it out of the box and see what comes with the Fly More kit. Put these off to the side. Pretty nice bag. In the top of the bag right here comes two cables. Holy smokes. One, two. Six props. A little screwdriver. And an instruction manual with yet another must have an app for DJI users. Desiccate silicon. Don't eat them. To keep everything nice and dry. So here is the bird itself. Now, for some reason I thought, I know this is going to sound crazy, I thought it was going to be smaller. Right, so we'll see. How does this come off? I think you just pop this. Oh, it's magnetic probably. Nope, it's a snap. And that is the protector for your blades. This is the bottom. This is the top. And pops out like that. Pops out like this. This is what, okay. All right. Not bad, not bad. And then this is the protector for the gimbal. Great idea. You got some tape on there, tape for the gimbal. We'll test that all out. So this is the aircraft itself. Batteries. 
One comes in the aircraft, actually. Wow, it's pretty light. Let me guess. There's the battery that comes with it. With the Flymore kit, you get two extra batteries. They're using these little plastic tabs. Not completely sold on those yet. They're all going there well. The controller itself is fairly lightweight. It's a little smaller than I thought. These little control pads scream to be lost. Pop in right there. Again, scream to be lost. I'll have to figure that out somehow. I think I'm going to want something else. There's a power indicator that says that's two. So I'm definitely going to want to charge that. So the charging cable, I guess, is for this and for the battery pack. I've never seen anybody actually weigh the thing on their video, so we're going to do that. Initial impressions, it seems really plasticky. I thought it would just have a little more gravitas to it. It's got to be lightweight, obviously. 249 grams, right on the money. I'd be curious to see how much the model for this 30-year-old aircraft weighs. 298 grams. The model weighs more than this Mini 4 Pro. Unless you're in Japan, you don't need the Japan flight rules. The guides are pretty worthless. Based on what I know about DJI batteries, it will charge this first, then this one, then this one. Alright, so just in case you don't know how to take this off and put it back on because it's not that obvious. The blades have to be in here like this. You turn it over and you get it off like this. So the blades need to be on the inside here. And then it easily fits down there. Originally I thought the blades had to be out here. And it just wasn't working for me. The cover wasn't going on. You don't want to force the cover whatsoever. Not a good idea because all you're going to do is break this relatively fragile vehicle. And I'm surprised that he went with a snap. Seems like they could have used a super magnet and it would have been a lot better. Because the snap is a little tricky and you don't want to push too hard on the, on the bird. But there you go. And that holds them all in place. You definitely want to use this cover to protect the gimbal. Because as I understand, the gimbal is the most sensitive part of the whole vehicle. So you can charge both the RC2 controller and the batteries using this, this USB-C to USB connection. I've started a stopwatch so I can see how long it takes to charge one battery, all three batteries, and then the RC2 controller. About two hours in, this is fully charged. We're on the second battery second dot on the flight batteries. Three hours in, two batteries are complete. One is 25% of the way, going for 50%. It takes a long time to charge these batteries. Maybe because it's the first time. And somewhere between four and five hours, we now have a full set of charged batteries. The controller weighs 416 grams or 14.65 ounces, so just under a pound. It feels good in the hand. There's buttons below. Lots of buttons that you can trip if you're not careful. Some adjustment dials here. Very comfortable for a controller. This is just the unboxing. We'll get into all the flying qualities aspects next. But I just thought it'd be interesting to compare 30 year old technology with today's technology. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciated. If you're interested in all sorts of testing, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds. I do evaluations of sports gear, electronics, quadcopters. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.